Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A, where we go over all the latest news that happened during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. Now, before we get to the questions, guys, I do want to tell you two things. And that is one, if you can, if you might have saw the video this morning, we did release my very first app, created it. Uh, and it was a long process, been doing it since April. So a lot of work went into it. So if you guys can, uh, please download it. It is called 50 First State Questions. I really appreciate it. Uh, basically, if you know, uh, I know a lot of us miss weekly on the weekends. I know I do. Uh, but, um, you know, if this app brings a good income every month, then I might be able to get my weekends back and uh, not have that part-time job. So we'll have to wait and see. But again, any any help is appreciated greatly. All right. Now, the other thing I want to let you guys know is that tonight we got our Galaxy Watch in. Finally, the back order is over. So we got it in along with the extra strap they sent us. So we will be getting those unboxed tonight and uh, the video should be going up tomorrow. All right, now let's get to the news. All right, uh, so Wear OS, uh, formerly known as Android OS or Android Wear, uh, basically was a really big mess to be honest. I've never liked it in smartwatches. I've always preferred Samsung's approach to watches just because the Google interface just didn't seem to work out that well. It was really uh, not good. So that being said, it was a big thing when it was just like completely changed uh, over this weekend. And this is of course due because Pixel themselves, Google is coming out with their own Pixel watch in October. So this is what we have to look forward to in this new UI. So let's go over a couple of the different things. So first of all, the notifications are allowed to do quick replies and you swipe to the left, uh, looks like to get them. We'll have to wait and see, or sorry, swipe from the bottom. I think the bottom is your notifications. Um, uh, so those are really nice. And the fact that you can quick reply, hangouts and messages. I really like that because I use messages and hangouts. So that is really nice for me. Uh, so definitely a fan of that. Quick toggles are at the top. So yes, notifications come from the bottom. Quick toggles come from the top. Uh, the right is the new um, Google Fit app uh, that has been upgraded. Um, and then the left is Google Assistant. So it, it just, it really works well, the entire layout of the watch now, which was the biggest gripe I had with it because it just didn't look good before. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, the right side, or sorry, the left side is Google Assistant. So you do have all the Google Assistant stuff you would normally have. Um, and there's customizing it more for the watch, which is important, I think. And yeah, really nice. I, I just, I really love where this is going. And again, swipe to the right and you get the uh, fitness stuff, which I must say, I am a little annoyed that it's so like iOS with the completing the circles thing. However, I will say the completing circles made a lot more sense on a circle watch. So there you go. Um, but I, I just, I really love this interface a lot more. Again, uh, this might be coming out to uh, Android Wear, or sorry, Android Wear, Wear OS smartwatches this upcoming uh, September, so over the next month. But the big impact is, of course, going to be, by all means, on the actual uh, Google launch, or the Pixel launch, rather, which will be in October. So yeah, and that's looking like October 9th now instead of October 4th, which it was originally scheduled. Apparently they're having issues with production, so they need uh, almost a week more uh, to have that fine tuned. All right, in other news, Moto is bringing the Razer back. Okay, if any of you know back to the flip phone days, the Razer was probably the most popular flip phone like in the US ever, I wanna say. It was just, as a flip phone, it was so popular at the time. Uh, not only that, but then they brought the Moto a Droid Razor, which was a razor thin phone. It was like very, very thin. Moto wants to bring it back as a bendable flip phone so that it would look like both of them that when you clamshell it, it looks like the original Razer, very thin and with a bendable screen. 
and then when you open it up it's as thin as the ra droid razor this is a really interesting concept again it's just a patent but it really i i love what this means that we really are going to be getting different companies doing bendable displays but more importantly that they are going to be trying to really refine it and make it make sense this makes sense because the razor phone was iconic it was moto's most iconic phone well arguably the droid was the best one uh but this was iconic so i really think that they are doing the right thing with this i would wonder how would moto be if they brought back the droid line I, I would imagine that is tied in with Verizon, but can you imagine if Moto really brought like the Droid series, like full force back? I think that would be very interesting. Let me know what you guys think. I know there was a Lucasfilm thing there because of the Droid name, uh, but yeah, I, I know there was a whole thing about that um, that they had to pay, and maybe they don't have the rights to the Droid series anymore. I don't know. All right. Now, we also have the Galaxy S10, and all the rumors are pointing to that every single version of it coming out next year, which the rumor is three currently right now, will have fingerprint display, uh, sorry, fingerprint scanner in display, in display fingerprint scanner. Uh, so basically, what that means is all of all the models will have that. I think that's really good because it means that even if you get the cheapest one, which you know, currently right now it could be called the uh, Galaxy S10 Mini or whatever they call it, uh, that you still get everything you need and everything you'd want. So I really like that, um, that you're not kind of downplaying it so much. I mean, maybe it might have less RAM, maybe it might be a slower processor. We'll have to wait and see what the uh, cheapest S10 has, but at least we know all of them will have the same design, most likely because they will all have uh, in display fingerprint scanners. So I really like that. I, I think that that's really where they need to go. All right, and this phone is so interesting because if you know the history of it, this is insane. So this is the Honor 8X Max apparently, and there is the Honor 8X as well, and we're getting lots of leaks from this phone currently right now. And the reason why this is so crazy is because the standard 7X and the uh, what you would presume would be the 8X starts at $200. The max might be $100 more, so say $300. But what are you getting for that price is the crazy part. So this is, will be a 7.12 inch display, which is insane. It has the itty bitty notch that is becoming popular looking like the second half of this year, which again is better than the current notch. Uh, so I do like that. It has four gigs of RAM, 64 to 128 gigs of storage. I really like where this is going. We are going towards an era basically where it looks like we will have better and better phones, $300 and cheaper. And this phone is amazing looking like. The Honor 7X is still one of my favorite phones under two, uh, uh, around the $200 price range. Um, I, I will say that quite frankly, I, although, although the, the, the look might be a little bit more outdated now, I do in a sense favor it even over the Moto series this year because the Moto series really split up their three different devices and like the Moto Play gave you a bigger battery but the Moto G5, uh, Moto G6 regular one didn't have the bigger battery but it had the better display and then the one that everyone wanted the plus isn't even available in the US so and it's more it's a lot more money so yeah it was just a lot of things that I was just like uh I don't know I like the idea of you getting exactly what you want anywhere you want. So hopefully the Honor 7X was available in the US. Hopefully the Honor 8X and the 8X Max will also be available in the US and it has some really great specs, including also a new processor that has leaked uh, with uh, 6600. This is supposed to be a lot faster than the 6360 uh, that was before previous on uh, similar models. So I am really excited to see how well this does. Uh, not to mention that it, it looks like what this source is saying 
that the battery is 4,900 milliamps. That is insanely huge, but keep in mind, it's a seven inch display, so it kind of needs a bigger battery. But that big, that's insane. How would you like to be walking around with almost a 5,000 milliamp battery in your smartphone? And your screen of your smartphone is basically what tablets used to be at seven inches. That's amazing. I, I really want to see this phone when it comes out and I'm getting very excited for it. It's supposed to be announced in the following week. So very, uh, we will stay tuned to that. And I'm definitely going to be reaching out to my honor contact so we can hopefully get it. All right. And the last bit of news. Yes, it was a short news week uh, is Bose has released their own Alexa powered assistant. And uh, so this is gonna be $400. So it's right there with the Google Max Home. Um, and it's $400 coming out in October. I don't know, for me it's a very small screen. Like, I, it's not really gonna replace the show, obviously, the uh, Amazon Echo Show. But like, it seems it kind of went half in, half out. Like it was like, okay, let's make a smart speaker. Let's put a display in there because displays are going to be the big thing at the end of the year. And they put this little one. And I don't know. For me, I think it looks very Bose-like. I think it looks a very high-end. Uh, I'm sure it'll sound great. But for me also, to be quite frankly, I'm just more interested in a Google Assistant. Uh, we are reviewing the LG one right now. The sound quality is absolutely amazing. Uh, so that one we're reviewing right now. And we're also reviewing the Lenovo Smart Display. Both of those reviews should be coming up next week. So really, really awesome quality speakers are available for much cheaper prices. So I don't know, uh, again, this will be another league of course, but I'm kind of like, well, will this be better than the Google Home Max? Because Google Home Max will allow me to make calls. This one won't. And updates go to the Google Home uh, internal series faster than do the external. So again, we'll have to wait and see how everything goes. All right, guys. Now let's get to your questions. Again, if you have a question you want to ask, just ask it in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. Okay. I'm about to get internet service. They have a plan with 100 megabits uh, and 300 megabits. Uh, which one should I get? Um, almost no one needs 300 unless you are... Um, Unless, unless you are really like, um, I don't even think you need 300 at that, but unless you are a online gamer, like a serious, serious online gamer, you do not need 300 megabits uh, per second down. I don't care what you stream. I don't care if you stream 4k, you still don't need it. hundred is fine. Uh, so yeah, I, I would say no, you do not need past a hundred. If you want it, go for it. But yeah. Uh, what's up, Ricky? Just found out you can put a video on the lock screen on the Note 8. Freaking love it. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Uh, yes, it was originally, it came out on the S9, but now you can do it on the Note 8 and on the S8, um, just because they updated it. So yeah, definitely really cool when it comes to that. Uh, oh, before I get to the next questions, I did want to let you guys know, just as a reminder, if you have not entered in our Patreon giveaway, again, link in the description, uh, we are giving away the essential phone. So this is in two days. If you have not submitted your entry for this yet, this is an amazing phone for 250, which I got it on prime day. Of course, even better price is free. And that's what uh, one of you guys will be getting uh, or a dollar uh, or whatever you guys uh, donate, which I appreciate and allows us to do these giveaways every single month. So yeah, uh, just wanted to remind you guys cause two days, three days, 30, yeah, two days really, 30th, 31st to uh, enter in for that. Uh, congrats on the new app, looking good so far, Ricky. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, it's been a long, long road developing that app. Uh, made it so that it can work on Android and Android tablets and iPhone and iPad. It, it was a long time, uh, and especially because I'm a perfectionist when it comes to like, if things are not right, like I really want it to be right. So I still will be fine tuning, uh, but at least I thought it was finally to the point where it could be released. Um, so yeah, again, if you haven't downloaded the app, please download it. It really helps us out and it hopefully will allow us to 
um, for me not to need the part-time job anymore on the weekend so that I could bring weekly back to the weekends. I really want to bring weekly back to the weekends. I miss it too, guys. I, I, I will say thank you guys so much for those of you who watch weekly and who always tell me like, man, Sundays aren't the same without weekly. And it's like, I keep forgetting in the week, it's not weekly on Sunday. Like I'm right there with you guys. Like I wish I could get weekly back on Sundays. Um, every Sunday I'm just like thinking like, oh, no, uh, like it's not, it's not weekly. Like I miss it too. Uh, are Xiaomi phones ever coming to the US? That's a good question. Xiaomi has been saying for years that they are eventually going to come to the US, uh, but they haven't yet. So we'll have to wait and see. It's, it's a really interesting thing to see if they will. Uh, they have said 2019, uh, they're going to make a play for the US. They've been saying that since the beginning of 2018. So we'll see if it happens. Uh, Xiaomi has gotten a lot more backing because of this Poco phone uh that everyone's raving about so yeah i have to wait and see but very interested uh i hope samsung gets us android pie asap uh and just lets us enjoy our piece of pie sooner than later lol you know you say that but i mean well to be fair at least google allows you to dis uh to disable but i hate the gestures compared to what is available now uh so yeah I, I'm, I'm very curious to see when Android Pie comes out, I still haven't done the video uh, about Android Pie, so I feel like I need to do that. I might do that just, uh, it, it, I feel like it's too late now to do it because of Android Pie release, but maybe I'll do it more when the Pixel comes out. We'll have to wait and see. I almost forgot it was podcast time. Luckily I got, I have a notification. Well, I'm glad the notification notified you. Um, New iPad fingerprint readers are on the back. I'm hearing uh, iOS 12. Interesting. Uh, I would be interested if that really does happen. So yeah, it, it's it's really interesting to see if they move the fingerprint scanner to the back and don't have face unlock, but instead just move the fingerprint to the back. I mean, everyone said that's what they should have done with the iPhone, right? So maybe that's the best way for tablets uh that they found so yeah i really think it's it's quite interesting uh bigsby 2.0 for the s8 when for the s8 i don't know if they're gonna update that i would say before the end of this year but i couldn't give it any sooner than that uh what is oh sorry I'm new to Bigsby. Every time I have asked it uh, a question, it is like counter to the next chat box. What is that? Counter to the next chat box. I am not sure what you mean, to be honest. Uh, Bigsby, the, the thing about Bigsby that you have to understand, it's more to get things done on your phone than it is to answer questions. That That's what I really draw the line at Bigsby. Like, Bigsby is more to um, to control it, to control your phone. So say if you wanted to jump right to Instagram under direct messages, you would say, hi, Bigsby, DM. And if you haven't seen our 10 hidden features about, Big, or our 10 best features of Bigsby, I explained this in this video, but it really is basically like, uh, you know, uh, you can program just the letters DM to open Instagram and then move to direct messages. That is what Bigsby is for. It's more to get, stu get stuff done quickly on your phone than it is for anything else. So you can even program Bigsby to say, uh, move, um, like send the last five photos you took via email to this person and it would do all of that. So that is really what Bigsby is more. It's more to get stuff done on your phone than it is to answer questions or yeah, than it is to answer questions. Cause I feel like voice assistants are so, we're so used to them just answering questions and that's not what Bigsby is for. So yeah, sorry, it's getting a little hot in here. I wanna put the fan on. Um, there we go. Uh, what is the most useful feature in your opinion besides health stuff? About what? What is the most useful opinion besides, in your opinion, besides health stuff? I'm not sure what you mean by besides health. What were you talking about, uh, Theodore? Let me know. 
Um, can you live stream on YouTube on the S9 like uh, you can with the S7? Yeah, you can live stream on any Android device, I believe. I don't believe you have to have a specific one. I think you can live stream on any Android device now. I'm not hearing uh, anything exciting about the Galaxy Watch reviews. Honestly, the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to about this watch is the fact of battery life. I really wanna see how the battery life will last. That has been mixed, uh, so I'm curious to test it out myself. Some of the reviewers I'm not a fan of, uh, but that is what I'm really interested to see, is how long will this battery life last? Very curious to see. Um, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just let it. Everyone drink. Um, um, let's see. Is the Galaxy S4 water resistant? A lot of reviewers talk about how the Galaxy Watch brings water resistance. Uh, I got my Gear S3 wet, nothing happened. So, I do believe every single galaxy watch or sorry not every single gear watch has always been water resistant um i know since the gear s2 definitely i'm not sure if the gear one but everything from the gear two and on was water resistant for sure uh, now the galaxy watch is uh 5 atm uh, which means uh, it is certified to actually that you can go scuba diving with it basically uh, it can take five atmosphere um, Pressure so it's like I think 50 feet of water and it doesn't matter what kind of water So that is a feature that was only on the gear sport before this watch It was not on the gear s3 because the gear s3 was ip68 rated which means uh, five feet for half an hour. That actually means an hour, but they, they claim it's only half an hour. Uh, but yeah, so that's what this is. It's five ATM. I know, don't know if it says it on here. It doesn't say it on here, but it's five ATM for this one. So it just means it can actually take atmospheric pressure just like a regular watch does. That was again, only available on the gear. Um, the gear, what do you call it? That was only available on the uh, Gear Sport before this for Samsung. Apple uh, Series 2 or 3 introduced it on theirs. So, yeah. Um, most iconic Moto phone is the Razer or the Zach Morris phone. <laughs> uh, thumbs up if you remember the hash, uh, if you remember the Zach Morris phone. Do you know how to code, Ricky? Uh, no. Uh, I tried to learn. I really did in this uh, creating the app process. So, uh, for those of you just joining us, yes, I did create an app. Uh, the link should be in uh, in the comments uh, all the way up at the top. Um, and but yeah, we just released it today. And yeah, uh, I didn't I didn't learn how to code. I tried, uh, but it was it was too time consuming. And quite frankly, with everything else I had going on from real estate to, um, it was, it was real estate at that time and it was YouTube at that time and it was just too much. Um, so I just couldn't, uh, and then I had to take a part-time job because real estate has been slow. So it's been a whole thing. Um, but no short, I did not learn how to code. Uh, basically I had, I designed some of it and I had someone else design uh, part of the app. And then I commissioned someone to create it. And then it was a back and forth with that person the entire time. Like, no, no, this isn't how I want it. No, no, this, like, I'm very meticulous about everything. So like in the app, for instance, I uh, was a big stickler for the way it swiped. Like it had to be a certain way and like, I, I didn't like, like at first you had to swipe all the way down to here and I'm like, no, 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 I want to swipe here. So when you swipe here, it will do it. Like you, you didn't need to swipe as low and it would still do it. So it was just things like that was a real big thing about how I wanted the app to be. Uh, so yeah, I uh, really like it overall how it turned out. Still want to fine tune some things, uh, but that will be uh, coming in the next upcoming weeks. It will still be updated. Uh, we have an update even coming tomorrow. So again, updates are still coming for this device or for the app. Sorry. Um, 
What system do you think uh, the next God of War will be on? PS4 or PS5? PS5. I, I think the uh, for God of War, you, you're coming on the next gaming console at that point, uh, and your launch title probably. And what a launch title to get an exclusive on if it was the PS5 launch title of the new God of War 2. That would be awesome. That would just be awesome. I would I would so buy it just for that. Uh, but I would buy a PS5 anyway. Uh, it's so funny because I've been so tempted to buy a PS4 Pro, but I'm like, no, no, the PS5 is coming. Like, no, but I want a PS4 Pro. Um, hi, Ricky. Congrats on the app. Uh, when using Samsung themes on the Note 9, is there a way to get full screen apps uh, with the S Pen Air command? Uh, they all they all have frames on them. Um, to get full size apps on. Oh, I'll have frames around the icon. Um, if you're talking about the icons, you say full size apps. I'm not sure if you mean the icons or if you mean the app itself to make it full screen. Uh, both are possible actually. So, uh, if you go into settings and go under, I think it's display. If you go under settings, display, icon, uh, frames, you can make it icons only. So that takes away the box around it. And then if you take, uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, if you want to, uh, make apps full screen, I think that's also under, yeah, that's also under display and it's just full screen apps and you can set which apps go full screen automatically. Um, can you change col the color of an app like messages? Um, no, no, you can't unless you change the theme uh, or unless you uh, download a launcher. So like I have Nova launcher, we're going to do a video on the must have apps for the Note 9 that is coming uh, next week, probably the end of next week with that one. Um, but yeah, so you can of course create that. Um, and yeah, then you can change the color, you can change everything about how it looks. So that would be the one way to change uh, what the app looks like from the icon side. But the in-app icon, no, you cannot change that. That's up to the developer. Um, greetings, uh, YouTube tech guy in chat. Greetings, Quiet Storm. Um, do you know or think the Note 4 will get the update to Android 7.0? I just can't let go of the removable battery. Sorry. Um, I don't think so. And honestly, you wouldn't want an update that or that that new. Uh, overall, the newer updates you get, the slower your phone will be, unfortunately. So I wouldn't want it if I was on the Note 4. Uh, that's just me, my honest opinion on it. Best cell phone for Verizon for $200 to $300. Unfortunately, I really do not know the Verizon phones in that price range. Um, and unfortunately, that's a big issue because Verizon is CDMA, so they can't use a lot of the really amazing phones for $200 to $300. Um, so I, I honestly do not know what, what would be the recommendation at that price point, just because I do, I'm do i not familiar with Verizon phones and every unlocked phone I know is GSM, not CDMA. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I, I know Samsung has some J3s or 7s in that pr around that price. Uh, those are the only ones that I could think of off the top of my head, but I do not know Verizon phones enough. And unfortunately, like I said, all the unlocked phones I know are not CDMA supported. Uh, best guess when Samsung discontinues the Tab S lineup. Tab S lineup? I mean, they just came out with the Tab S4, so I don't, I don't know. I think they need to lower the price. I think they're going to lower the price if this, if the tablet doesn't sell well, which I don't think it will. Uh, I think the Tab S4 will drop in price. That is my opinion. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Any phone with the notch is an automatic fail for me. I don't care how small the notch is. I like uh, my Infinity display. I agree with you. I do like the Infinity display way better than the notch. But at least the smaller the notch gets, at least that's better than a big notch. Like the Pixel 3. Ugh. Um, I didn't pre-order the Note 9. Will I still get the free headset? No. So uh, for if you buy the Note 9 now, you actually get uh, a free wireless dual charger, I believe, and something else. I am not on Samsung's website. Let me pull it up though. Uh, let's see. Oops. 
Okay, so let's pull up Samsung's website. You get the free wireless charger and something else right now if you... Uh, so buy a Note 9, get a free dual wireless charger and your choice of Galaxy Note 9 cover or for $99 you can get the dual charger, the Note 9 cover and the Icon X earbuds. So yeah, the, uh, pretty good deal all around with it. Uh, but yeah, depends on what, you, what you're looking for. I love the dual wireless charger and that is valued at like 130 bucks, I think. Um, the case would be another 40 bucks. So, I mean, you're, you're getting a little under 200 at that price range. With the Icon X's, you're getting uh, pretty expensive there. So yeah, you're, you're, you're saving actually a little bit more than 150 uh, for the Fortnite part, but not as much as the headphones were at the $300 price point. Um, next question. Any phone, oh, sorry, um, let's see. When will you make uh, your video about Bigsby? I know Bigsby is great for controlling your phone. Yes, uh, it will be, I will be making it. It's it's just been uh, kind of hard right now, guys, honestly. This week, for instance, I have not had a day off since last Monday. I haven't had a day off. Been working every day. Uh, I have two part-time jobs right now and uh, I'm, I'm debating whether I'm gonna let one go or not. Um, and I do YouTube and I have a video up every day pretty much. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's been a little overwhelming right now. Um, I feel like I'm getting more gray hairs right before my birthday. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I, I promise to keep trying as much as I can to put up all the videos. Uh, Hidden Features video is coming this weekend. I think I'm gonna release that on Saturday just, you know, my birthday might as well just release the our fa the favorite video of the channel uh so yeah i think that i'll release that that day but um yeah stuff is coming um let's see uh, let's see uh, alexa powered speakers are useless we need more google powered ones i really i want a really loud one you don't need alexa siri or bigsby speakers <laughs> can't argue with you alex i'm all for that uh, I am so excited. I, I really, really want JBL to send us one. I so want the JBL soundbar. I think that is gonna be the perfect last Google speaker for my house. I so want that soundbar. It's coming out in October. Trying to get a hold of them to send us one, but we'll see. Um, what's the next phone you will buy? The next phone I will buy will most likely be the iPhone 10 XL plus X, Dream, I don't know. Wouldn't that be ingenious? Why wouldn't they just call the new iPhone, the biggest one, iPhone Extreme? Why not? Uh, but yeah. Uh, do you think the YouTube tech wife will possibly, just a little possibly, do another tech in love response uh, to the new app coming out? <laughs> I do not think that will happen i will ask i will i will say there is a demand for her coming out uh with the with uh you know the new app uh launch but i would say no i'm trying to get her to do it during the anniversary of the channel which is when we do the last tech and love which is in february we'll have to wait and see um are you going to get the red s9 plus it's in korea uh, it's funny, one of my viewers uh, actually had it and uh, showed it to me. Um, yeah, no, it looks amazing. Um, no, I'm not going to get it just because I, th there's no need for me to get an S9 Plus right now. I have an S9 Plus that is going to sit in the drawer for a while, basically, until the next trade-in. Uh, so yeah, no, I, I don't I don't see a purpose in getting one. Uh, yeah, just for the color, I wouldn't. Uh... How's the Note 9 uh, life going on? Love it. Uh, Note 9 is going really good. Uh, we are doing our uh, next day, our last day of battery life test tomorrow. 
So the battery life test should be out Friday, I'm thinking. So the Note 9 battery life uh, review should be coming out Friday, along with the gaming review at that day. And then Saturday, we're gonna knock out the hidden features. And yeah. Um, Alex, you have 200 MBS uh, cable? That's insane, man. Um, I'm hearing no new AirPods this year, just wireless charging case. That is interesting. I would say that they could just get away with just doing that and that would be fine. People will still buy it. Um, how do you enter the Essential Found giveaway? It's in the Patreon giveaway uh, in the description. And yeah, you enter the giveaway. Just donate a little $1 and you're entered to win. Just joined at 812, how much did I miss? Uh, I think you missed all the news by that point. Oh, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. Um, where are we? Any, any new info on the Note 9? Like what? Uh, no, like I said, uh, gaming review, battery life review will be coming out Friday and Saturday we'll do the 10 hidden features video. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to think if we have any other big videos. We have some cases we're still reviewing. Uh, some of the case manufacturers haven't sent us the cases yet. Normally we get them by now. Don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get to them as soon as possible. Um... Are you familiar with Samsung J Tab? Uh, what are your impressions? I am not familiar with the J Tab series. N haven't heard of it actually. I've heard of the J series smartphone. I've heard of the A series tablet. I've heard of the E series tablet. I've not heard of the J series tablet. Completely lost there. Um, what do you think it's uh, is better, the Note 9 128 gig or the Note 9 512 gig? Uh, I'm debating whether to take a Samsung Frontier watch or a Galaxy watch, what do you think? Okay, well, the 512 gig is for certain users. Uh, I did just do a video on actually the hidden benefit of the 512 gig as well. If you didn't check out that video, definitely check it out. A lot of you did actually. Uh, but in the video I explained what a lot of people I don't think ever really knew. Uh, judging by the video, a lot of people did not know this or a lot of people didn't believe it would make a difference. Um, but for those of you who don't know, especially with Samsung smartphones, now uh, internal storage is generally by two companies, Samsung or Toshiba for all smartphones. Samsung's are typically a little bit faster, but that changes from year to year. Sometimes Toshiba's faster, sometimes Samsung's faster. Changes every year. So. When it comes to that, the internal storage on your smartphone goes between 600 to 800 megabits per second. Memory cards currently only go up to 100 at the fastest speed that a phone could read it at. So that's a big throttle if you think about it. Like if you really think about it, it's kind of like the movement on PCs from hard drive to solid state besides the protection factor it was just way faster like it was a nine day difference you got things done seconds quicker and all those seconds doesn't seem like much it's really noticeable when you're using it on a day-to-day -day basis and that's my biggest thing as i've been using the note 9 on a day-to-day -day basis i have the 512 version without a memory card inside i transferred everything from the memory card into here from my uh s9 plus it has just moved so much faster uh so that is the big a hidden benefit of the 512 gig of storage is that if you do use our internal storage only, only, it is so much better. And for those of you who wonder, well, what if you run out of space? What if you don't have enough? Just get Google Photos. Uh, Google Photos has unlimited photo backup. So yeah, it has unlimited photo backup. So just use that. <laughs> like it has unlimited photo and video backup. It backs up up to a 16 megapixel camera and it backs up up to a 1080p video. So your 4K videos wouldn't be safe, but 1080p video, I mean, everything, I have everything 
from my S3, from my Galaxy S3 and up through every phone I've had throughout the year has had Google Photos on it. So I don't have time to find a photo here and there on what smartphone that I take it on. I just find everything on Google Photos. So yeah, uh, 512 storage and that much free cloud storage, you have no issues in my opinion uh, for, for what you would need. Um, and what was your other question? Oh, the Frontier versus Galaxy Watch. Um, I really wanted the longer battery life. That's why I chose the Galaxy Watch over the Frontier. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I have a feeling, and I don't know if any reviewers really talked about this, but I'm going to test battery life on this watch one day, or maybe two days, how long it lasts, normal, out of the box, and then I'm going to fine tune certain things. Like, I wonder, if you take off the auto detection of a workout, will that increase the battery life since the sensors aren't going off the entire day? That's a possibility. So things like that is what I'm going to test out and see uh, how long you can really last the battery life because that's what I want more than anything. I want a long battery life. So yeah. Um, keep my fingers crossed for the essential phone. I hear you can install the Pixel camera on it. I will have to try that. I have not installed the Pixel camera on the Essential Phone because the Essential Phone camera is the worst part of it by far. The screen is great. The speed of the phone is amazing. It has Android uh, Pie already on it. Uh, but yeah, that's the main thing about it. Um, what's the app called? The app that we created is called 51st Date Questions. That is the app that I created. If you are coming in right now, go download it. Android App Store or uh, iOS Store. Really appreciate it. Uh, download it give it a five star, it would really help me out. I want to bring weekly back to the weekends. Um, so yeah. uh, hey Ricky, any three in one power bank, external drive, Wi-Fi? Nothing that I've looked at. Uh, I've, I, I am really excited about the new Samsung external drive, the X5. That is awesome how fast that is. I, I, I am just in love with that uh, kind of drive. I will probably buy that drive before CES. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but no, nothing like a uh, power bank plus a hard drive plus Wi-Fi. Not into the, not into that. I have great portable battery packs that I have. Don't need anything that crazy. I would say. Uh, how can I put a video on the lock screen on the Note 8? Update your Galaxy Note 8, then just look at our video that we recently did on how to do it on the Note 9. And there you will have it. iOS 12 up to beta 11. Yep, it's, I mean, it's, it's basically ready to come out. It's basically baked. Um, you should make a, a Bigsby to Rigsby app. Uh, it would make you super rich. Yeah, I, I would love to make, we are not, Rigsby would be like the third app. So if the first app makes a lot of money, second app makes a lot of money, Rigsby would be the third app. We would make a Rigsby app. Don't know how I'll fund that, but we'll see. We will see. Um, do you know why Samsung is delaying the shipment, the second Note 9 to households in order of two? I have not heard that. Um, is it a specific model? The 512 ran out. Like carriers did not order a lot of the 512 model. Samsung themselves did not think the 512 model would sell as well. So people are out of it. Um, I don't know if I could actually check that right now since I still have this up. Um, oops. Let's see how long is it before you get it? No, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can see the delay for it because it was a big delay for sure. Okay, so for the 512 model, for the unlocked version, you are waiting till September 30th before you're getting it. Now this is if you place the order right now. So, but again, it gives you an idea of how long it was delayed. For Verizon, you are waiting till September 23rd. 
for T-Mobile, you are waiting till September 30th. And for AT&T, you are waiting till September 23rd. So everyone is waiting a long time for the 512 right now. You're basically going to wait till the end of the month. Uh, now this is for the blue, the purple uh, has a little bit sooner availability, but just to give you an idea. Um, who else got Pandora Plus from T-Mobile? I know there's a hack, um, but they are sketchy. I did not get that, I don't know. I, 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 I thought I heard someone say something about it, but I didn't get it, no. Uh, why is nobody talking about why is Sam, oh, Samsung delaying the Note 9 to 512 for realtel, realtors? Uh, yeah, retailers. Uh, did they pull stock from retailers to fulfill their own orders? No, uh, it's it's just delayed. Like, again, you have to realize that carriers did not think it would sell. Samsung did not think it would sell. They thought it would be a very small percentage. When in, we don't know the US figures yet, but in Korea, it was over 50% that the 512 sold over the 128. Again, I, I, I kind of am worried about this because of how much the 512 cost and how much better it sold. It gets me worried because I'm afraid that manufacturers will think like, oh, so we can do this. It's okay. Um, so yeah. Um, hey, Ricky, what's a good laptop for a college student around $400? Thanks. Um, you should check out our video on the Surface Go. I left about, I want to say about 10 different laptops that were under $600. Some of them started at 400, some of them started a little bit higher, but it was between that range. So go check out that video. All the price and specs are in the description for all of those laptops. So you can see it right away. But if you check out our tech rant on the Surface Go, I did pull 10 different ones. Uh, so you would kind of get the idea. Basically the main thing you want to look for for a college student is at least have an i5 processor uh, on the laptop. Uh, and I would recommend at least eight gigs of RAM. Those are the two things you want to look for for a college student. It is kind of hard to get the i5 at the $400 price point. You might have to settle for an i3, which is okay, but they're probably gonna have to update it in two years instead of maybe four years. That's the difference of an i3 and i5 for most uh, users on a laptop. Oh, you're hearing the iPads will actually have both face scanner and fingerprint. That's interesting. I would assume they would only do one because it's not cost effective to do both, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, hey Ricky, will T-Mobile be bringing the silver Galaxy Watch uh, or only black like they did the Gear S3? Uh, I have not seen which Galaxy Watch is available for T-Mobile. Let me see. Wearables. Galaxy Watch. Um, Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Uh, no, T-Mobile has all of them. Yep, T-Mobile has all four, all three colors. It has the silver uh, 46 uh, um, millimeter, which is the one I have here. And it also has the two 42 millimeters, the 40, uh, the 42 black and the 42 rose gold. So it has all three of them. So you're, you're good. Uh, I am on Samsung's website directly. So if you don't see it on T-Mobile's website, go order from Samsung. Um, hey Ricky, uh, what's a good laptop for a college student around four? Oh, I answered this one. Um, is it true that the Note 9 can go uh, up to five feet of water? Yes, yes it is. Five feet for up to half an hour. Uh, I meant when you open the camera on the S7, it had a feature in the camera setting uh, said live stream. Oh no, they took that away. The reason is, is because YouTube just brought it to every smartphone. So that's why they took it away from the built-in camera and just put it on the YouTube app. Uh, because that was when YouTube was trying to see how live stream would work on a smartphone. They partnered with Samsung to start it and now it's just uh, built into the app. So you don't need to do it uh, through um, through there anymore. How much uh, screen on time are you getting with the Note 9? I'm getting like uh, four to five. Oh no, I'm definitely getting more than that. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, again, we, we're doing three different tests, three different test days. So, oh, that, that was the longest one. Let's go with the average, not the longest. So, the average the other day, I got screen on time of uh, eight hours. And that was with six hours of streaming, an hour of uh, navigation, and an hour of gaming. So yeah, really good battery life. If you're not getting this kind of battery life, what do you need to do? You need to look at our how to save battery life video, set it all up the way I have it set up and you will get much longer battery life, I promise. Um, good laptop for the college range of $500. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, I, I, I did put uh, 10 different laptops on the Surface Go Tech Rant. Check the description. It has the pricing for each of them and all the specs they have. Have you had any slow internet speeds on the Note 9 T-Mobile version? Uh, I'm also in the Los Angeles area. No, I haven't had any slow internet. Uh, it, it, I am actually getting better internet on this uh, phone than I did on my S9 Plus. I have noticed that. Faster internet speed, so no, I have not gotten that. That would be weird if you did, because this phone does have the best internet currently. There is no debating that. This phone and all smartphones in the US right now, this phone has the best internet on it. Um, so if you have an issue, I would maybe return it. I, like, that's just the way I am. I've, I've, told, I've told you guys some of this before, but like, I'm very big believer in if your product does not work in the beginning, return it because you do not want to deal with it later. Maybe it came from back in the day, I was a Circuit City manager. Uh, yes, I was, I was at Circuit City. Uh, and people would come in and they would always give me the same line every time. Well, this hasn't been working since day one and you know, it, it's never was working. And I'm like, well, sir, you bought this 14 months ago. If you had brought it day one when it wasn't working, I would be able to help you. We would swap it out, no problem. But you're coming to us over a year later, the manufacturer's warranty doesn't even cover it, and you broke it. What do you want me to do? Uh, so yeah, that, that would be like, you know. Um, have you heard about the screen problem of the Note 9 uh, lighting on this? Yes, I've heard about the light uh, bleeding I have not had any issue with that. For those of you who didn't know, it's basically uh, some of the Note 9, it's supposed to be a very small amount, but who knows what a small amount is, uh, is bleeding light on the edges. Haven't had that issue. I, I've, te I've tested out a couple of different videos to see if it would. Haven't had any light bleeding issue, but that is a very serious thing. And that is the thing that I would swap out right away if I had that issue. Um, how much Samsung S9 uh, what the price? I don't know how much the Galaxy S9 is now. I would assume it's like, what? $700, $600 now? The, the regular S9 at the plus, yeah. Um, good, good evening, Ricky. Uh, so what is Bigsby used for in the Galaxy Watch? Uh, is it used to control the watch? So I, I've really heard uh, so far, and again, I have, it's literally in the box, have not unboxed it. I've heard that Bigsby on the Galaxy Watch is basically S-Voice with a different name. Hope not, but we'll have to wait and see. I will, I will, I will test it, I promise. I'm, I'm def, th this is getting unboxed as soon as this is done. Whoa, just clicked off a bunch of stuff. All right. Um, If it was full, wait, what? Oh, sorry, you guys are talking about something else. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. Um, can you change the S Pen color when you write on the Note 9 screen? Uh, yeah, on the screen off, on the screen off memo, you can only change the color of the pen, which means it'll write in either yellow or purple when you have the screen off memo. Oh, there we go. It'll be the yellow or purple, or you can turn it to the original, which was gray. 
So you can write in gray if you want instead. If you actually go to um, settings, advanced features, S Pen features, and screen off memo, you can turn off, this is way too bright, the signature color and that will make it so that when you write it will be gray again instead of yellow or purple so now that i'm writing it's gray you can barely see it on the screen but that's where it is so yeah i i definitely like the signature color more i forgot it wrote in gray and when i saw a customer phone like someone else's phone i was like i was dude what is this like and I was like, oh, that's right. It didn't write in a color when it was on off-screen memo before. So I thought it was funny. Um, are you going to have a review budget phone? Uh, not everyone can afford flagships, bro, LOL. At least I can't. Uh, I've reviewed the Honor 7X. I'm reviewing the Essential phone. I've reviewed the uh, on, uh, Honor View. I've reviewed the G5 Plus. I haven't reviewed the G6 yet. I haven't reviewed that one. Um, I'm reviewing the ZTE Max. I I'm reviewing uh, a lot of budget phones, actually. Yes. Continue to subscribe and you will see them. Um, I lost my white fast charger brick. Uh, do I have to get it uh, at the phone store? I mean, you should be able to get it anywhere. They sell it. Um, your thoughts on Samsung all-in, uh, all-in-one desktop. Been thinking about getting one. So, I haven't been a fan of the all-in-one desktops for a long time. Simply because they haven't updated the specs. It's still on last year's processor. Um, and I think it's rather expensive for the price. But I think all-in, all all-in-ones are expensive for the price. Uh, however, my friend uh, got a really good deal on one. Uh, he got it from eBay. It was an amazing deal on one. I think it was under 500 bucks for the current model. And that like goes on sale for like, I think 800 or 900 uh, directly from Samsung. So after using it, actually, I, I did use it. It was it was good. It was really good. I, I liked a lot of it. I liked that the all-in-one display, the screen itself, can be used as an external display for something else, and you can switch the source. So I like that. I did wish it was a little bit brighter in his room. There was a window right next to it, and it came in right to it. Uh, but other than that, yeah, man, I I, I can see the value of all-in-ones. I would just like if I would ever buy an all-in-one. If I would ever buy an all-in-one, it would need to be like a thousand five hundred model like I, I need i need an i7 i need a graphics card i need basically the surface the microsoft surface all in one holy that was that thing is just amazing it's amazing it's beautiful fell in love with it when i saw it can't afford it <laughs> but I, I that would be the one i would get uh fully decked out with which would cost like ridiculous amount of money i forgot how many thousands it was but yeah that's that's the dream um that's you know when i win the lotto or make an app that sells a million uh millions and millions of dollars that's the that's the that's the all in one i'm getting um how much louder are the speakers on the note 9 to the s9 plus uh basically the same they, they really are basically the same i would say i would say the note 9 sounds a little bit better while the s9 plus are a little bit louder actually now that, that's my assessment between the two Will you unbox the Samsung Home? What are your thoughts on it? I think it's gonna be a flop. I, I do not see a Bigsby speaker because of what I just said. What did I just say about Bigsby? Bigsby is not to answer questions. It is to get things done on your phone. You're taking that away from it. So I, I do not think it's gonna be a good idea. I don't know. I just don't know. Um. You should build a background out of old phones. Background out of old phones? Oh, out of old, just like a build a background out of old phones? I don't know. That'd be interesting. Uh, I don't keep phones though. Like I sell the phones when I'm done with them that I have, or majority of the time I have to send them back. Uh, LG, Huawei, a lot of the smartphones that I got this year, I had to ship right back. 
um and that was it was on a time crunch i had it for like two weeks three weeks whatever the review period some of it was like four week uh whatever the review period was i had that amount of time and i had to send it back uh so yeah is the note 9 compatible with white dome glass screen protector and a otterbox defender pro uh does the otterbox defender pro have the front cover screen still or no I get confused by that now because I haven't had a Defender case in a while, so I do not know if they have the front screen case or not yet. Uh, but that that would be what I would I wouldn't know. But if it has the front screen, then no, it wouldn't be compatible. If it doesn't, then it would. Uh, I haven't I haven't had one case yet that didn't work with uh, that screen protector, so pretty good on that front. If uh, they are running out of no more iPhone next year or two years. What are they going to do? Uh, I mean, this year will be the different screen iPhones, and next year, uh, the big thing is going to be the S. Uh, or sorry, the I was going to say S Pen support. Uh, the Apple Pencil support will be next year, not this year. It looks like. Uh, so that will be the things we know now, and I think they have to improve the camera next year because if they're not improving it this year, they need to improve it next year. If you joined at eight twelve. You can, oh, sorry. Waiting for the camera comparison videos between the Note 9 and other phones. Oh man, oh man, um, hmm. Should I give you guys a preview of the camera comparison? Let's see. I'm gonna show you guys one image. Just one. The OnePlus 6 is a really good phone. It's a really good phone. It is one of the best phones of the year, definitely. It's the top five right now. But when I tell you guys that no phone compares to the Note 9 in low light, I mean no phone compares to it. None. None. Yeah, camera review coming soon. Everyone got schooled. Um, uh, Pixel camera can be installed in the Note 8. Uh, I haven't seen how to install that now. Like I, I had the Pixel camera on the, my Note 8 and on my S9, but I know there was an update and I wanted to do the update and the update didn't work, so I don't know how to do it anymore now. Um, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just slowed it. Uh, whoa, a whole bunch of questions really did. Um, okay. Getting my first wireless headphones. I'm debating on the Bose QC35s or the Sony uh, 1000XM2. Which one would you pick? Okay, so this is my thing with those two because they are amazing headphones, both of them. I think the Sony's sound better but the QC35s are more comfortable. That is my assessment between those two. Those are both very good headphones. Uh, it really is between those two. The Bose QC35s are the most comfortable headphones. Like you can wear them for so long and have no issues. They're just amazing. That's why everyone talks about them for plane rides because they are so comfortable. They don't even get your ears hot. Like they are amazing. Uh, the Sony headphones, I believe sound better. Uh, I, I've heard them a couple times. I believe they sound better. That, that's my differentiation. So pick which one is more important to you. Both have great battery life, both awesome all around. Um, so yeah. Have you ever used movies anywhere before? I just got the Avengers Infinity War on Blu-ray and I got a digital copy of it. Should have uh, gone for uh, Rigsby Snap 166. <laughs> um, yes, I have actually. I Didn't I do a video on that in movies? Any I felt like I did a video on Movies Anywhere when it first came out, how to bring your iTunes videos to Android or vice versa. The, the crazy thing about Movies Anywhere is such an important app because if you are between iOS and Android, it transfers your videos. This whole DRM stuff disappeared when that came out because basically any, any movie you bought on there, except for a few studios, uh, transfers immediately. So that's awesome. Um, I got a BOGO on at and uh, my girlfriend got the 128, I got the 512. 
She got hers immediately in the store and I'm still waiting on mine. Uh, at t does not carry the 512 in store, so sad. No, yeah, they are, again, they are backward. As I just pointed out, if you ordered the 512 right now, you would not get it till September 23rd. So you're waiting a while, just letting you know. Um, is the new dual wireless charger faster than last year's convertible? No, it is not. I was gonna do a wireless charger, how long does it take to uh, charge the wireless not, Note 9? Uh, however, one, I knocked the camera down when I was doing it and it just looked bad, the video, uh, thereafter. And two, it didn't, it didn't charge any faster. Um, what is Rigsby? Uh, Davis, Rigsby is a joke that's been going on for a long time. Uh, we have Rigsby 116 mugs and t-shirts on the merch store. Um, and if you don't know why 116, that's, oops, sorry. That's why. It's always 116 here. Um, but yeah, so Rigsby is just a joke that's been going on forever on the channel. Um... It's basically, if you have Rigsby, Rigsby can do anything. It can, you know, it, it, every software right now is nothing compared to Rigsby. That's what the joke is always about. Um, yeah, what? I installed it a long time ago in X8 Developers. Yeah, back in January. It's been a long time since that came out. And there was an update on it, but then the update had issues. So I'll have to look into it, doing it again. When you're doing the battery test on the Note 9, uh, is is it with mid-power screensaver off or on? Oh no, off. That would be cheating. Uh, uh, my, my parameters are, it comes the same out of the box, which does mean it's on a 1080p display. So it's not, under, it's not on the 2K display. Uh, it also has to be at 80% brightness. So I turn the brightness all the way up to the point right before the orange. So that is where the brightness has to stay the entire time. And that's on every smartphone that I do. I leave it how it comes out of the box and I turn the brightness all the way up to that point and that's how I do it. Um. You worked at the historic Circuit City? Yes, I did. The fallen kingdom of Circuit City. Uh, I had light bleeding issue on my Note 8. I switched to ASAP, good job. Um, the light bleeding is just in the Note 9 Halo version. Oh, I see. Um, why no camera on the Galaxy Watch? Um, what do you think about it? Um, why no camera on the Galaxy Watch? They took the cameras out a while ago. Uh, the reason was just because of the fact that people thought it was weird. People thought it, you know, people were creepers taking photos like that. So yeah. Um, make Mobile Weekly Sunday again. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, instead of make Mobile Weekly great again, make Mobile Weekly Sunday again. Download the app. <laughs> Does the Note 9 work with the Gear VR? Yes, it does. Uh, the last two versions, I think. Um, uh, everybody, don't forget to wish Ricky a happy birthday. It's September 1st. Yay! Uh, and send him plenty of Green Lantern hearts. Thank you. Um, You missed the question about the new Samsung charger. Does it charge faster than the old charger or is it a gimmick completely? Uh, yeah, no, it's just, it's two fast wireless charges. It can charge both phones fast, which is rare for dual pad chargers, but that's all it is. Um, oh, WWF title though? Yeah, if you haven't seen that title, uh, it, I am the uh, tech champion of the world. Um, and you know, all these people want to duck me, you know, been calling them out, but you know, MKB, TL, Austin Evans, you know, I have the title, just saying. Um, what are the disadvantages of dual SIM 512 International Note 9 versus single SIM US model? Um, you have the Exynos processor in the international, uh, model, which some people like more, some people like less. Uh, Snapdragon version of the processor is a little bit faster. 
Exynos version is supposed to have a little bit better battery life, like a 5% difference. But uh, in, in terms of battery retain, retention, it's supposed to be the Exynos, whereas uh, faster speeds go to the um, Qualcomm. Uh, other than that, nothing really else besides that. Uh, the updates might take a little bit longer, but that's, again, varies. What is the best game on Android? The best game on Android is 50 First Day Questions. Can say without a shadow of a doubt. 50 First Day Questions is the best game ever on Android. Download it. Download it now. Um, uh, how much better is the Galaxy, uh, is the new Samsung smartwatch versus the Gear 3 and battery? Uh, not an issue with, um, it is like a hundred plus milliamps, I think more. Uh, let me see. Uh, to compare, I'm going to compare them real quick. So I'm going to compare the uh, Galaxy Watch, uh, the 46 inch, which has the same screen size as the Frontier. It is 100 milliamps bigger, 100 milliamps bigger out of so instead of 380, it's 480, or 472, sorry. Um, so about that. Uh, you're supposed to get an extra full day in comparison to the Gear 3. Is that definite? We'll see. Uh, it also does have Tizen 4.0, so it should be better optimized, they're saying, uh, for it. So we'll have to wait and see. But again, unboxing it tonight. I will find out. Um, let's see. YouTuber with 6 billion subscribers, ballpark earnings are. It doesn't matter to subscribers. Subscribers does not matter. It matters on how many views they get. So, let's 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 do this. So, say I just don't know. I don't know um 6 million subscribers how many they would ha I don't know what their views are like. Um, let's see. So six, let's say six million views, so 36 million views. So let's say 36 million views. A rough estimate, again, a rough estimate. Is that right? No, no, wait, wait. Oh, no. Uh, about over a million, uh, they would probably get between a million dollars and a million, uh, and 1.5. Uh, again, I'm, I'm estimating, I do not know how many views they get, but a YouTuber with 6 million subscribers, that is an estimate. Um, I don't have that many, so I can't tell you that. Let's get us to 6 million subscribers, then I will be able to tell you for sure. I'll reveal it. Uh, but yeah, I would say a, about a million to a million five uh, for... Oh no, wait, that... Is that right? Um... I, I would have to, I would have to have more time. I, I really don't know. But yeah, I'd probably say around that much. If not more, I think more, but we'll see. Um, let's see. How much better uh, is the new, oh yeah, already answered that one. Will you do a YouTuber boxing match uh, with another Android tech reviewer? Uh, if so, who would you box? I'd box anyone. I know every tech reviewer. Ain't, ain't nothing special. Ain't no one I can't take down. Psh. Talk about a knockout. First round. No, I don't know. But I, I would do it. Yeah, sure. 
Um, I'd say me and Lou. Lou, calling you out. I'll knock you and Jack out. <laughs> um, uh, 50 First Dates was a movie with Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler. Shh. Don't worry about the copyright stuff. Um, uh, I... I know uh, a YouTuber that has 750,000 subs and pulls in 35,000 a month, right? 35,000 a month? So yeah, so that even. So if you know it was 35,000 a month, um, that, wait. Yeah, that is 420, um, so yeah, you would talk about that times six. That's 2.5 million. Just by estimating the same amount. Um, okay. Uh, played roles of survival on the Note 8 need 8 gigs RAM on that Note 9. Oh, is that a game that is it's like slowing down with that? No, Otterbox has no screen protector. Uh, I was hoping for a video for proof if it doesn't fit. I heard it doesn't. I do not have the Otterboxes yet. I'm waiting for Otterbox to send me the cases. They said they would. Still waiting. But as soon as I do, I'll try it. Um, do we get the new Icon X and 360 camera next year? I think so. I think we're getting it with the S10. Is the Note 8 still a good buy? Definitely. How do you like Fortune on the Note 9? Any problems with the device getting hot? No, but I do have a case, so I don't really feel the heat, uh, to be fair. Um, Rigsby with TKO Jack. Hell yeah, I would knock Jack out. Psh. All that build up for that. All that build up for that. I would knock Jack out on principle. Um... <laughs> Uh, will you be getting the Pico F1 to review? It seems, uh, like a really interesting phone. I'm going to try. I I've been trying to reach out to Xiaomi, uh, to get it to review. Uh, have not heard back from them yet. Uh, so I will see if we can buy it. Uh, just depends with all the phones coming out. I really have to be choosy on what phones I'm buying. I'm obviously definitely buying the iPhone, the new iPhone, the new Pixel and LG, I think will send me the V40. So that's the three right now. Uh, will the Galaxy F be sold worldwide next year? Yes. Yes, it will. All right, guys. I think we are calling that a show. We went a little bit over time, but, you know, having some good conversations. Again, before you leave, please give a like, thumbs up first. And if you can, I really appreciate it if you guys download the app, rate it high. So far, I have made a dollar today in ads, and I made about five bucks for some of you guys that bought the remove ads appreciate it uh so again thank you guys so much please share that app with uh everyone you know if you know someone that's single that needs some help in the dating game this is the app for them all right guys thank you guys so much for always watching i really do always appreciate it and let's let's make mo weekly sunday again <laughs> uh, this has been r-i-c-k-y the youtube tech guy Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.